What about the gun makers? This is America. Remember now, we live in the greatest country in the world. Okay? Everybody has a right to defend themselves. But do you think if the guns weren't so available, it would be it'll be less homicides? They all have yeah. them. They don't have time to think. They don't have time to process the situation. And a lot of them react versus if they didn't have the guns, they would have time to process it and think about it. Problem solve a little bit. So what you think of that? No, absolutely not. Because what you're saying is uh, about gun manufacturing, a criminal don't care about a gun law. A criminal don't care about gun legislation. You can have all the gun laws in the world. A criminal going to find a way to get a gun. Whether they're going to break in somebody's house or break in somebody's car. It doesn't matter. Okay? You should not, uh, what I say, handcuff the gun manufacturers because people are killing each other. Okay, okay, well, what about the type of guns? Uh, like, you see your, you see the victims. Right. You see the wounds. Right. This ain't like, you said you, you, you've you been doing this since 1990. 1990. 1990. Uh, the, the wounds, I'm quite sure, have changed. Right. So, right. what you have to say to that? I'm glad you asked. I had a conversation with a, a well-known state legislature two or three months ago. He said, AK-47 should be illegal. What kind of car you drive? Okay, if you're gonna outlaw AK-47, if you're gonna tell somebody you can't drive, you can't buy AK-47, you can't drive with. I I don't see the comparison. It's not apples and oranges. It's common sense. Okay, if you can tell somebody this is America, I done told you we live in the greatest country in the world. This is the only country in the world that you can talk about the president and not worry about getting killed. Try that in Russia. Try that in China. Okay, you have a right to purchase any kind of weapon you want to purchase, just like you have a right to purchase any kind of vehicle. That's my take on it. I mean, this well-known legislation, I t uh, legislator, we went round and round. Okay, I got nothing but respect for him. As a matter of fact, he's like a mentor to me. Okay, but we're going to disagree. You can disagree on a topic without being ugly and disagreeable. Okay. I see the wounds that AK-47 and AR-15 put in you. I understand it. I get it. Okay? But you can't just ban assault, or assault rifles because of wounds. Okay? Uh, th think about this right here. If you look around my history, you know I'm a car nut. I've had fast cars all my life. I got one now. All right? I'm 69 years old. My county car is fast. Okay? As long as you have, as long as you have fast cars, you're going to have street racing. Street racing got so bad in Georgia that the governor created a law. Okay, created a law. We did street racing back in the day. I-16, Bethel Church Road, Forsyth Road, okay, 475. But now, a lot of guys go to the drag strip in Twiggs County or even Taylor County. You can't ban assault rifles. It's wrong. Okay, you ban assault rifle. Okay, ban Corvettes then. Ban Hellcats then. You can't do that. This is America. You can't tell somebody what they can buy and what they can't buy. All right? Look at all the people that buy Hellcats. Okay? We have never, we got but, some young boys doing now, doing some racing. We ain't never did. We ain't never pulled up beside a state patrol car and said, you want it, come get it. They got their vices. Bill County Sheriff's Department, Year before last, got into a chase. They chased a guy from the Mercedes place on Riverside Drive to right behind this building. He had a Hellcat. He had a device where you press a button, your license plate cover. It goes, cover your license plate. We ain't never done no stuff like that. But, but you can't tell nobody you can't buy a Hellcat, so you can't tell nobody you can't buy an AK-47. If you got a license, you got a permit. Now, I'm going to tell you this right now. I believe in background checks. Okay. I, I, be, I believe back. But I think the comparison of cars is just different because it, although cars can kill somebody. Every day. Guns are made to kill. Okay. Cars are made to go fast. When, but when but not with the intentions of taking a life. When it's going to take the driver's life and maybe an innocent person ride with them. When have you known a car run 200 miles per hour off the showroom with tagging insurance? That's no. crazy. 200 miles per hour with tag insurance, 200 miles per hour. I got a, my car, my county get vehicle, 
The mayor asked me, asked, uh, he asked what kind of car I want. I said, I want, I want fast cars. You know, I always like fast cars. Okay? It's a police interceptor. Ford Explorer. It's black. A police interceptor. Guy told me to run 106 miles out, not with me in it. <laughs> I work with dead people. Well, you driving fast cars? Yeah, that was then. This is now. Okay? I know when to back out one quick. Right. Okay? You can't tell nobody. I, I know the damage. I, and I get your point. I see where you're coming from. Because I agree with you about having a gun since you can't keep the criminals from getting them. So exactly. I, I They'll think, find a way to get I them. I think the regular citizens need to be armed also so yes. they can protect themselves. Exactly. And I tell, let me tell you something. I'm on the treadmill Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at my, at, uh, my cardiologist. I've been, I'm on the treadmill since 2018. My walking partner is Bonnie Dowling. Okay? Her husband is Hemp Dowling. He owns Eagle Gun Range. Yeah, I tell people, everybody needs a gun and gun safety. There's no need to buy a $900 gun don't know how to use it. Eagle Gun Range will sell you a gun and teach you how to use it. Okay? They ain't about just money. It's about safety. Okay? Right. You need to have gun training. Okay? But you can't handcuff the law-abiding citizen because you got criminals with handguns. That's wrong. That's wrong. You can't dictate what a law-abiding citizen should buy and can't buy. That's wrong. So even seeing the wounds and, and the gruesome injuries you see from it, it doesn't change your opinion. It does not change my opinion. Because when you get back, as my late mom would say, at the end of the day, well, that she was old school. She didn't use phrases like that. She would say, through it all, we still live in the greatest country of the world. I agree with you.